Hey, what's up? This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to install Dingix on your A320e. Um, if you're using any operating system uh, newer than Windows XP, you're going to need to disable driver signing. So to do that, you're going to power on your laptop or your PC. And as soon as you see your post screen, you're going to press F8. You'll see a uh, advanced boot options menu. You're going to go down to the bottom, second to the bottom, actually the last one, and select disable driver signature enforcement. Well, that'll, what that will do will enable you to install these unsigned drivers so you can actually run the USB boot tool and install the dual boot. Okay, now that driver enforcement has been disabled, you want to download the package I prepared. Uh, the link to it is in the video description. Extract it to your desktop. And once it's been extracted to your desktop, you're, need to gonna, you're going to need to put your A320e into USB boot mode. To do that, hold down the start button and then plug in the USB cable. Keep the start button held down and Windows will try to install the driver software. It should give you an error saying that it could not install it. Once it does give you that error, we're going to manually install the driver. Okay, to manually install the driver, we're going to go into Device Manager. And look for a little explanation point on one of the devices. Select it, right click on it, and say Update Driver Software. Click on Browse Computer, then click on Let Me Pick, then select Show All Devices and press Next, and then Have Disk. Browse to your desktop, and then go into the folder where you extracted the package you downloaded. There should be a folder in there called Drivers, and inside Drivers you'll have x64 and x86. Select x64 if you're using a 64-bit version of Windows, or x86 if you're using a 32-bit version of Windows. The device should show up now in the compatible hardware window. Click Next and select Install this driver software anyway. When it says it's successfully updated your driver software, go ahead and click on Close. Okay, now that the driver is installed, we need to run the USB boot tool from the folder that you extracted onto your desktop. Double click it, and look at the first line. To the right of that first line, you're going to see some Chinese writing with three dots. Click on those three dots, and then browse to the u-boot-nan.bin select it and click open and immediately down below you'll see it start to flash it'll reboot your dingu into the native OS once it does you need to disconnect the USB cable and then do a hard reset on the dingu itself to do this you just uh, st stick a little sharp object into the reset button um, the little reset button hole, sorry, on the left hand side of the Dingu. Okay, now it's time to install Cookie Joe's custom firmware. To do that, you need at least a 4 gig uh, micro SD card. I suggest installing it from a card reader, uh, installing the image from a card reader instead of from the um, micro SD card slot on the actual A320e itself. It'll be much, much faster and you don't run a risk of messing anything up. Go into your Dingu A320 Dingux folder 
go into SD card imager and then you're going to extract the CFD A320E4GIG.IMG.TAR you can use WinZip, um, 7-Zip or WinRAR just extract it right here okay now that the image has extracted you want to put your micro SD card into the card reader and let Windows detect it make note of the drive letter that Windows gives it mine is E colon then close any dialog boxes now double click on Win32 Disk Imager and make sure device says the correct drive letter for your micro SD card. Then to the left of that there's a blue folder. Click on it and select the extracted image and then click right. It'll warn you of overwriting what's on the uh, drive. Just say yes and it'll extract the image to your micro SD card. This can take a while. Um, mine t takes about 8 to 10 minutes anytime I do this. So I'll cut the video here and once this is done writing we'll be able to boot into Dingux on the A320E. Alright now the image has been written to the SD card I'm going to put it into the Dingu A320, A320E and then you're going to hold the select button down and press power. We're going to hold it for a few seconds and you should see the Dingix logo and it'll boot into Cookie Joe's custom firmware.